Here in New York City tonight, the Joint Terrorism Task Force was called in for a time after a stunning discovery in a vehicle just outside a major tunnel into New York. Inside the vehicle, this arsenal, police say they found guns, ammunition, knives, camouflage equipment, and more. They arrested three people in the truck. And here tonight, ABC's Gio Benitez. The arrest taking place during morning rush hour at one of New York City's busiest tunnels. This distinctive truck stopped by police for a cracked windshield, but inside an arsenal of weapons found. Seven guns, including an AR-type semi-automatic rifle and a shotgun, body armor, knives, 2,000 rounds of ammunition, even a military-grade helmet. He had the driver exit the vehicle. And when the driver got out, he noticed a 45 caliber handgun on the driver's seat uh, that the driver was sitting on. But early fears of a terror connection gave way to something else. According to police, the three people in the truck said there's a reason for it all. They were on their way to rescue a 16-year-old girl from a New York drug den. It turns out the driver, John Cramsey, just lost his 20-year-old daughter to a suspected heroin overdose, according to a medical examiner. Cramsey, who owns a gun range in Pennsylvania, alluded to his plans to rescue the 16-year-old on Facebook, telling one of his friends, quote, how about a road trip to New York to do an extraction? Saving a 16-year-old girl is priceless. And David, tonight, Cramsey and those two passengers have been charged with illegal gun possession. And in another bizarre twist, police say they found the girl Cramsey was looking for, and they say she told them, I don't need to be rescued. Police are still investigating. David.